The options are endless when it comes to the things that you can make with pottery. In the Valley today's Abby Furchner is taking her hand at the wheel this morning as we wrap up our crafts with Abby. Good morning, Abby. Good morning, Jordan. I'm already behind the wheel this morning with James, who's a studio manager here at Plains Art Museum. And there is a technique to getting the perfect pottery. So let's start walking through this. We have the clay set down. So what is our next step? Well, our very first step is centering your pot. Uh, and if you don't center your pot right in the beginning, uh, you're just setting yourself up for failure all the way through. So uh, we are going to lay into the clay with our left hand, stabilize on our body, and push into that as it's spinning, and then push down with your right hand on the top. And it's actually a lot harder than you think because the clay does push back quite it, a bit. It really does. Once you get start getting spinning, regardless of how much clay you've got on it, you've oh, got no. that centrifugal force going. Okay. And this clay is really mushy when you get it out of the bag. But once you've got a solid mass of it fighting against you, it's pretty strong. And is there anything with the water that people should know? Like, do you want a ton of water? Is there a certain amount you should have? I would say you want enough water. Okay. <laughs> like, when you're centering, you can use a lot of water. I'm really sloppy, like we were talking about. I use a lot of water. The thing is just to not leave the water soaking inside your pot, because that can ruin it. Oh, okay. Um, but just use enough water so that it's lubricated and it's not going to drag on your hands, but not so much that it's going to get everywhere. Got it. Oh my gosh, this is my arms are getting tired. There you go. Go ahead and push down a little harder. At the top. At the top, yep. Okay. And then also lean in a little bit harder with your right hand. Yours is looking way more circled than mine. I may have done this a few times. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> and so what is the next step after we get majority of it rounded out? So once you've got it centered, we're now going to establish a hole in the middle. So this find that center. Big. And then we're just oh. going to... Oh, push, how perfect that we're is. We're just going to push right down into the center. I feel like I need to center mine out a little bit more. So. Yeah, you need a little bit more centering. So as I center mine a little bit, James is going to start doing the circle inside the center. But in just a few minutes, I will be at that point. I might have to take a little bit more time. <laughs> but we're just going to be working on this throughout the entire day and see what we can create today with some pottery. A little, uh, a little crooked there, Abby, but I'm sure she'll uh, figure it out as the day goes on. Abby Furchner reporting We're gonna live. We're going to try to even it out as much as we can, oh, that's sure. for sure. Okay, she'll work on it, or so she says. We'll come back to you a little later, Abby. Still